Hey up everyone, how are we doing today? <laughs> Sorry, those of you support different teams. <laughs> but I had to do it today. <laughs> hey up, granddad. How's it going, Brogue One? We need a yeet emblem. Yeah, that'd be great. I uh, pretty much yeeted the um, the armadillo while I was just practicing in it. It's hilarious. I can't wait to show you guys. How's it going, granddad? <laughs> granddad I love it <laughs> how's it going Garfield how's it going Legend Crip Georgia the super stash not today the kittens the kittens love my my beard they love rubbing their face as you saw last week they like having a little scratch on my beard so the moustache will be back soon just not quite yet <laughs> how's it going Hellcat <laughs> Are you playing on the other team? How's it going, Kitty Mac? Lucky Starfire. Nice to see you all. Welcome. This is Insider Information. Um, today we've got a crazy, crazy, crazy thing to show you guys. It's crazy. Um, we're going to do some gameplay of it. Those of you who are in the super test or staff or, you know, community super test, you're more than welcome to jump onto the, onto the beta and come and play with me if you like. I'm going to be rocking the armadillo for a couple of games today. It's pretty fun. I don't play light tanks. Um, playing against bots, I enjoyed it. Um, it's going to be a meme, probably. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, those of you who like light tanks, you probably like it. Um, all right. Um, before we get started, if you would like to try and win a tank on Twitter, head on over to Twitter find the what console um, Twitter page, retweet, retweet the tweet that promotes this stream. You got a chance of winning a tank and you've also got a chance of winning some A up, A up inscriptions, which you can only win from insider information. Um, to do that, all you have to do is type hashtag A up E Y U P in the chat uh, with your console and your gamer tag. And I'll give away a couple of those at the end of the stream. Um, bear in mind, there is some issues with credit at the moment, so it might take some time to be credited to your account. Okay, let's get started here. As always, we've got some downtime tomorrow, August 10th, for two hours. Standard time, um, nothing special. And here is the update preview information. Um, you know, as always, bear in mind, subject to change. Um, this is just giving you an insight into what could and should be happening tomorrow. If anything changes, um, always go to the website for the, the final um, update on what's going on. So we got the armadillo. Um, you guys will have seen the, um, the article on the website regarding that. We're going to play that in a little while. And we've got string theory coming from tomorrow until the 16th of August. Those of you that were looking forward to that, I hope it's I hope you enjoy it. We've got a huge tank trade in, which you guys will have seen on the website, 10th to the 23rd of August. And we've also got random 125th anniversary of gold discovery on Yukon themed up. Cool. <laughs> 10th to the 16th of August. I guess. Tenuous link. We all love gold on World Tanks console. <laughs> all right. And we've got a message from the team as well for you guys. Um, the design team would like to host a few custom games. Um, a few custom game community matches specifically for Hellfire Pass to map playtesting on Friday, August the 13th. Friday. 13th. From 3 p.m. at 4 p.m. Central Time, so straight after the um, community stream with Pain God, um, we'd like for players to join the devs on Hellfire Pass and then relay their feedback uh, to me. Um, we would also we'd also use a mini playtest to gather win rate and heat map data and stuff like that uh, that we'll be able to share with you later. All right, uh, bundles. I guess the gold related, knock yourselves out, enjoy. Um, 
deals of the week um amx cda 105 citadel tiger one personal offers of the ex exlissa exlissa why am i struggling with that um suma sm terrapin mark one uh, we have one stream this week um friday the 13th we're going to be looking at the is4 balances um the preview and we'll be doing a giveaway we'll maybe try and do something spooky because it's friday the 13th <laughs> um no no insider information on monday um i won't be here take some time off i've been a three-day weekend okay um let's take a look at the armadillo so as always got mr snakey here he's my favorite 3d commander <laughs> um yeah this thing's tiny um it's um it's very quick um for this playthrough i've also made it even quicker i'll show you what i have equipped here um so i have <laughs> i've got the advanced powertrain and the um traction system on as well just for a laugh and i've also um put some of the enhanced fuel boost as well just for a laugh <laughs> um so it's max speed is 95 kilometers it can definitely get over 100 with all of this and the fully stacked commander as well who is is pretty like well suited to a light tank of this kind anyway as with all of the other gi joe ones um uh, you've not got a this this is like the special skin i guess there's your detailed stats while I have a look through the questions, Hellcat, you're on. We'll, um, we will duel. I will lose. You're like a ridiculously good player, but um, I'll give it a go. <laughs> it looks like a Robovac, says the group dog drill. It's something. It's something. <laughs> um, yes, tell you, um, this would not be good in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> this would this would this would trump the um things like the vanguard and stuff oh my word um let's have a look at these detail stats for you guys so the gi joe mobile strike force mini tank armadillo is highly maneuverable armored vehicle able to get in and out of a tight spot during the battle its size and speed allow for effective surprise attacks before cobra sees it coming I want to see where the crew is on this. It's just a two. Oh, it's a, a three person? What is this? Are they like sat on top of each other? There's not a lot of room in there, guys. There's not a lot of room. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> There's all your other stuff where your components are. Before we get started, I want to show you something. Um, Something really funny happened while I was practicing. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, I was practicing in the armadillo, I've not played it before. And um, I hit a bump and for some reason the craziest thing happened with the, uh, with the armadillo and um, here it is. Enjoy. <laughs> I was doing the standard tactic here with a speedy light and then boop and we decided to walk i just thought it was hilarious so i thought let's let's just roll with it let's try and use the gun <laughs> oh dear <laughs> what a disaster i'll show you guys again it's so funny i can't believe it i can't i, I can't share it yeah, guys, uh, but it's, it's, it's an exclusive for the stream for you, at least, anyway. So, yeah, a hidden feature of the armadillo. You can walk. <laughs> oh, dear. This is the quality gameplay you expect from me. <laughs> oh, Panzerlord. I love that emote. Nice one. 
<laughs> Since to want to see what you did there. <laughs> Alright, let's play some games. So we bro one on my team against Hellcat. Let's do it. <laughs> I can fly the mechs are coming, I know, right? Hey, we're known, we're known for making mechs. <laughs> Don't give us ideas. <laughs> oh dear, so I wanted to wear my Manchester City shirt today. Today's been one of those Mondays where it's just... It's a rough Monday today. Lots to get through. You know, it's it, it weighs on me if you guys are, you know, you're upset about something or, you know, somebody's having a bad day. I really try not to take it to heart or take it personally, but it's just how I am. I care about you guys. And I, um, you know, if you guys are upset, I'm upset. So um, I wanted to kind of remind me who I am. This is who I am. I'm a City fan. This is my first, not this one, this is the, an adult version of um, my first ever City shirt. Whoa, I'm lagging big time. Um, this is my like adult version. I think it's the 1996 strip. Um, there's like pictures of me as a baby wearing it. I just wanted to show you guys, I guess, a little bit. Who I am when I'm not doing these streams. I don't always wear black. <laughs> and I don't always wear unbranded stuff. I like my sports and I'm a big Manchester City fan. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, my controller's like broken or something. Sorry, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Handicapped. See if we can get into this medium here. Where are you, Hellcat? There you are. Oh, hi. Going a bit too fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the lag seems to have stopped now. I shall, Dialga. I shall. Let's go! <laughs> no! I'm out of here. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Popping wheelies. You probably could have got me then, Hellcat. I know you're going easy on me. Piss out and make a move. No! Wait, controller. Let's see if we can slide down here. He can't find me. This is going well. Do I have enough HP to get down here? Maybe you should activate the... What is going on with this controller? <clears throat> Try to get this out of the way here. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try... There we go. Um, I shall have some time um, after, after this game and um, just before the next one to answer any questions you guys might have. I'm just now great at... Answering questions and speeding around at 100 kilometers an hour in a light tank that I'm not familiar with playing. There we go. <laughs> what is going on with this controller? 
Thank you very much, Psych. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cold War should be modern tanks and not Warhammer. You don't want 40k? <laughs> Good job. I don't work in licensing because that would have been one of the first things I would have done. <laughs> Let's see if we can see what Brogue One and Elcat are up to here. I'll answer some questions. Um, what is a concealment with camo net on this tank? Um, I could try it. I could try and put a camo net on this one for the next game. Now you've seen how fast it can go. <laughs> um, empty jarhead. There is quite a lot of light tanks coming out at the moment in the in the cold war mode. Um, we're kind of just getting through that line, um, and then we should see um, later on in the year. I think December. Um, Paying God, let us know that we've got the UK tanks on the way as well. Um, so I think at the moment we've got quite a lot of light tanks, so we're, we're seeing quite a lot of people, you know, try them out at the moment. So it might be quite a lot at the moment, um, but yeah, I imagine once we get more, once we get more like tanks of different varieties into Cold War, we'll start to see that even out a little bit there. Um, Plum seventy three. Um, we'll find out more about the um, the balance information on Friday with Paying God. Um, I don't have uh, that information with me right now. Sorry. Can we see a custom game with the armadillo against fifteen Arty, please? I don't think. I don't know if I'm capable of doing that um, at the moment. I'll try. I could try. <laughs> My controller is really like bugging me right now, so I'm kind of like hesitant to do too many more games. I'm gonna try and bring my Xbox a little bit closer, so maybe maybe it doesn't lose connection again. It's a fully charged battery, I think. Yeah, pretty much nearly fully charged. Um, Teleboom, on Friday, Pangod said the idea of 6.0 RNG was to reduce the frustration without decreasing the time to kill. Would it be possible to add even RNG ammo to load out? I don't know. I don't know if that would be possible. Um, what I what I do know is that <clears throat> a lot of you guys, and typically the guys. You, you guys that I see are, are more, um, you're our long-term players, you're our higher skill players. And to you, you do like the, the, the way that the RNG is at the moment, doesn't do anything for you. The low rolls are low, the high rolls are high and random. We just don't know. Um, and I believe the way that the RNG is, is just to, just to make it easy, make it not easier, but make it kind of a little bit forgiven. Um, to newer players um, and so like we know that you guys aren't necessarily happy with it uh, all I know is that we've reported that passed it on it's with the team now they're having a look at it they're talking about different solutions what those solutions are I don't know at this point uh, but I do know that they are looking at it so fingers crossed <clears throat> Um, JC Zero, I don't even know what the next season is yet. Um, so I'll let you guys know as soon as I do. I just don't know. So somebody wrote a cab on it on this. And well, we'll keep that traction system. Okay. Do you want me to go? Is there a plan for equipment reap? Um, Ananita, no, that's it's been passed on. Um, I don't know if there are any plans um, to um, to do anything with that right now. It's been passed on. Um, the reason was is that whenever we did a like equipment sale, people would like sell their equipment at full price once it was at once once they bought it. So they kind of like exploit it 
and so that that was starts i've passed on a suggestion that just don't do any equipment sales but that's um that's with team now to to decide i've done my job with with passing that on um are you accepting invites to the custom games eclipse i am it's for community super testers and super testers and staff only so we should have a think about what we spoke about last week <laughs> Um, tell you to be Ted. Can we have more five time, more bundles to buy and stuff like that? Um, for the boosters, I shall ask and see if we can get some more of them. Because I was looking at the boosters the other day and I was thinking, yeah, I could do with some more boosters. I'm running out here. This thing still flies. Does it fire from all barrels? Um, we'll have a look. And I'll try and I'll try and like RBRT someone and we'll try and um, swivel the camera around so we can see. Get myself in a look. Oh my god! I nearly did the going for a walk again. Then that's Hellcat. I lag him again. I was. Let's see. It just fires from the one gun, I believe. Um, but as always, I am on the beta right now. I don't know if that's going to change um, in the actual uh, build that you guys will see. So let's just take a look here. Yeah, at the moment it's just firing from one of the barrels, which kind of is a bit disappointing, but maybe maybe that's something that the multi-turret support will fix. I don't know. We'll find out when it happens, I guess. Oh, I want nothing to do with you. folks it is real hard to drive when it's lagging so bad I'm sorry guys <clears throat> Let's see if we can knock this light out over here <clears throat> it's a hiss Oh, it doesn't stand a chance. Maybe I'll do something about this heavy as well. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a pest. This tank is going to be a pest. I really want to see what it looks like next to another tank. So, size wise, it is pretty small. Gets about 80 or 90 a shot. There was a 78 roll there as well. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> is it on a TKS 20 frame? It looks like it, doesn't it? I think the TKS is... Is it smaller? I seem to remember it being quite a bit smaller. It's been a while since I've seen that one, though. Um, why did uh, Wargaming change the MOE algorithm without telling anyone and reducing everyone's stats? So we spoke about that on Friday. Um, it sucks that we basically just did some... We changed something, we didn't tell anyone, and that's... that's it's not like who I want to be as a community liaison and it's not it's not who any of us we we don't want to be like that 
we made a mistake with that. We apologize for that on Friday. Um, however, the reason why it was changed, and you have to excuse me really simplifying this because I am not great at maths. Um, as far as I'm told is that the way that the current calculations for the MOEs were, um, was that it was calculating things wrong and it was, it was under calculating them basically. And so those of you who were getting, uh, your marks, you were getting it a little bit too soon. And so a decision was made to change it. I didn't find out about that decision until you guys started messaging me and it's just one of those things, unfortunately. I would like to tell you all um, in advance of any changes like that, we made a mistake on that and I'll I definitely take a responsibility for it. So sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Okie dokie. That's... That's all I can put up with, unfortunately, with the lag and um, a bad controller. Um, so sorry about that, guys. Um, I've got some time for some questions um, before I get on out of here. Um, Mrs. Belcrano, hello. Um, Plum73, I'm not aware of any anything going on in that area. Sorry about that. I wouldn't be able to say either way, though, so I could just be lying. <laughs> Um, any questions about anything that's coming out in the future? I just flat out don't have the answers for you unless it's already been spoken about. So if you would have asked me um, prior to Pain God telling you that the UK tanks are coming to Cold War, I would not be able to answer it. But now it's been answered. I can say, yes, the UK tanks are coming out in December, hopefully. Space Cowboy, enjoy. Um, Cube, how's it going, my friend? We should have a catch up. Um, how long is the server maintenance tomorrow? Let me pull it up for you. We're just looking at two hours tomorrow, so standard stuff. Um, here is what we talked about already. Here's the main stuff. Um, so we've got the um, the play test for you guys going on after the stream on Friday. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. I'm hoping to come along for that. Um, the Dino Man, I don't know if there's any more G.I. Joe tanks. We're coming to the end of the season now. Um, and it's, you know, it's a licensed season. So these, you know, eventually we might not be able to get these um, again for some time or if ever. So as I always say, if you want it, if you can afford it, and it's something that will, that you will enjoy feel free to pick it up um, because otherwise it's, I don't know if they're ever going to come back. Um, King Zillion, hello. Um, Sir Lighthill, yes, we've got exclusive emblems. Um, actually, they're not emblems at all, they're inscriptions. And you can win them by doing the following in the chat. Um, so if you... Um, type in hashtag A up with an E. Um, you have a chance of winning. Um, I think we give you about 25 every time you win. Um, so, um, Bon and Carla, we are doing them today. Uh, we are doing some uh, inscriptions, not ambulance giveaways today. Um, there is there is some trouble crediting them. I put it at the at the uh, at the bottom here just as a um, heads up. It's been some delays in crediting them. Um, there's a problem with um, with with getting them to you guys at the moment, but um, you're still going to get them, even if it, it takes a little bit longer than usual. How's it going, Professor? How are we all doing? No worries, modern call out. <laughs> um, Bunga Bing. <laughs> Will tech tree, tech tree module sharing come back? So it's something that I've passed on as feedback on behalf of the players. Um, at this time, uh, what has been said so far about linear vehicle progression and um, you know things like shared modules is this basically? So you just go on over to the over to the forums, 
and then find yourself into the newsroom and then go into the announcements and then in this little page here is where you're going to find all that juicy information um, update notes and update preview information so what you're going to what you want to find basically is the um, community update stream recaps and so the latest on um, LVP was this um, there was there was some if I can find it da -da -da -da. there was some yeah there was some linear vehicle progression fixes that's not shared modules I understand um, and it will make sense in a second so if you go back a week before um, we also said that uh, where is it now? Um, adjustments to LVP are on hold while we focus on the matchmaker and the tech tree, etc. It's a big job. We're a relatively small team trying to focus on other player feedback points. So to me, that also includes things like shared modules. Um, I, I do, I don't know if they are possible or not, um, but I have passed on that information to the team. Um, so basically, at the moment, don't expect any changes. Um, to this for the time being uh, but we are aware of it okay bucket head i'm going to send off a ticket for a 3d voiced mento vimto commander this week it's going to happen <laughs> all right and um, will the hiss ever get marks of excellence on the barrels i don't know i don't think so if i'm honest because it's licensed so I don't know if that's something that's um, not possible or not. Or it's maybe mechanically not possible because of the way that the gun is. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, so stay tuned on that. I'll try and find out for you guys. Ranked Battles, it's on the screen right now. It's still a work in progress. You guys should really head on over to the forums and read all of the information about all of the things that you're interested in. There's things going on for clans. I can't say exactly what yet. Um, rank battles is is not near completion. Um, so you do not expect this in the short term. Okay. Yeah, Garfield, I'm I'm not sure. That's why I'm I'm thinking, is it something that is part of the license or is it just mechanically not possible? So we'll have to see. Um, maybe a good question for Pain God on Friday. Um, what is the A up thing? So where I'm from, I'm from Manchester. Um, and it's kind of a northwest thing, I believe. Some people say A up with an A. Some people say it with an E. It basically, um, it's just a, a way of saying hello uh, to somebody that you know. You bump into your cousin in the street and you're maybe not expecting to see them. You go, A hey, up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> one VRXX World War 2 hood the classic hood or a rebuilt hood I think all of those things um, it is it is something which is being looked into um, I think we said it on here yeah World War 2 is being World War 2 hood is being worked on and can be expected in the near future <clears throat> I've passed on feedback on that um, to from my interpretation of what you guys would like to see with it, my my big points would be to bring back things like the ribbons uh, for you guys to change the um, do you know in the bottom left corner where it shows the the M one A one Abrams, change that to a World War Two tank or the tank that you're driving, um, and you know things like that. Basically, you guys essentially want the old hood rebuilt. And so I've passed on that feedback. So we'll see. <clears throat> oh, Thakis, do you, you guys say it in the Midlands as well? <laughs> I did not know that. The Northern Germany version of AOP is mine. Is it? I don't know about that. <laughs> AOP duck in Stoke on Trent. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, definitely in Yorkshire. I know you guys say that big time, big time. 
Um, you see the how big do you want your mini map? Like, let me know. Message me. Message me on Discord. Let me know. Um, now then, now then, now then. <laughs> <laughs> um, any new modern maps in the works says Gunny no I don't believe there are any new ones in the works the team is focused on revamping um, some of the older maps and again it's a gold mine on the forums you guys go back oh when will this be is it maybe the 23rd uh, maybe yeah got it so here are the next maps you guys can uh, can anticipate coming back in the next major update. Dupla Pass, um, Heilbronn, um, Redshire, Mervranka. We're going to get at least three of these. So that's what you're going to get. Um, I Garth had said, Max said, two weeks ago that the marks on the hiss will be introduced with double barrel tanks. Brilliant. That, that makes sense to me. Good old Max. Thank you very much. Um, I, I go comics. I've I've passed on feedback regarding a server side reticle that's with the team right now. Um, I do not know if it is possible or not. Um, any new Cold War maps coming or more World War Two maps getting added to Cold War? I don't know where these are gonna where these are gonna go. Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that they're being worked on. That's all I know. I'm sorry. All right. Um, can I ask how many studios works on World of Tanks console projects? Boston, Chicago, Sydney. It's basically Chicago, Baltimore. And Chicago. Um in Chicago, um, most of the dev team, and then much of the um... <laughs> technology is saying no. <laughs> Oh dear. Technology is failing. <laughs> right, I'm gonna draw these uh, draw this giveaway before everything breaks. As long as you guys can still hear me. Alright. Space Cowboy! You won the other day, I think. Congratulations. You've won one. Congrats. And we'll draw one more. Anonator. Congratulations. These are our two winners today. Very good. Very good stuff. Um, as I said, um, the it's going to take a little bit of time for you guys to have these credited to you. So just hang in there, you're gonna get them. How's it going, Goliath? Nice to see you. Um, but yeah, oh, congrats everyone. Um, head on over to the forums for the um, the update preview information. Um, enjoy the armadillo tomorrow. Um, we could certainly look at doing, uh, you know, balancing polls. If you get if you guys in the community want to kick off um, some some community polls, I'll be you know, I'll pin I'll pin them on the forums and stuff like that. But yeah, a lot of balancing coming soon. I've seen some of the upcoming stuff. We're talking big balancing coming soon. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna head out on head out of here today. Uh, we're gonna go and raid. We're going to go and raid. I am Highlanders. Enjoy, everyone. I'll see you on Friday.